So, there's been a change in the plans. I was on my way to Worthington State Forest, or Park, State Forest in New Jersey. On my way, I stopped here in Hazleton, Pennsylvania to get some food. I checked the radar, and there are severe thunderstorms and a tornado watch for pretty much all of New Jersey and New York. So, instead of trying to sleep in my tent through thunderstorms and tornadoes, I have decided to just crash here and get a hotel and just spend the night and then in the morning drive up to Brewster, New York to Jason's house and then get back on with the original plans. Filming our departure? Yeah. Yeah, so unreasonable, right? Honey, we're home! <laughs> Brad is videotaping everything you're possible. You're a f guy. <laughs> Situation. The situation? Alright, one sec. So we're here. We just went to Ted's Nickel. We had a great time at Ted's Nickel. There's Julia. Here's Dan. Show Dan. Show Dan. Jason, Jason just booted on the side of the road. We lost. We lost, babe. All the pasta he ate. Rob's apparently in here. Jason's trying to his way in. And um, we're going to do it the right way. Pay our covers. Have a great time and grill. And we're missing that's about it. Stop. How you feeling there, bud? It's like a brick wall hit me in the face. So I figured I should give you guys a little update on what's been going on. So I just got back from Boston and 
I really did not film too much. All we did is just hang out, go to the bars. That being said, I am now heading south and I'm at the first campsite on the way down at Promised Lands State Park in Pennsylvania. So I will be here for two nights. So I'll be here all day tomorrow and my plan is to just fish and explore. I uh, really don't know where to go, but I'm sure I can figure something out and find some fish. It has finally stopped raining after about 24 hours. So I am currently packing up the site and I'll probably hit up one more spot on the way out, probably that spot that I caught most of them at. And then start making my way toward West Virginia.
So I just pulled into my campsite here at Trout Pond Campground in George Washington National Forest in West Virginia. Right now I gotta set up the tent and then I wanna quickly grab my fishing stuff and head toward Trout Pond and see if I, what I can catch. So I'm setting up right now and I keep looking behind, you can probably see, I keep looking behind me. Um, there's like six or seven deer back there right now. But I was like, I swear I hear something. I look back and I'm just staring at one of them. I'm just trying to get my, my tent set up, but I'm just realizing there are deer everywhere here. This is ridiculous. I've been here for maybe 10 minutes. I've already seen 15 deer. Just got everything set up here at the site. The sun's about to go down and I want some catfish for dinner. I'm going on a catfish mission. I'm gonna take some hot dogs and the catfishing pole and walk down, fish a little bit after dark and see what I can get. Hopefully I can get some for dinner. I decided to just bring only the GoPro, not the fancy cam. Just make it a little bit easier on me. All right, here we go. Dang, it's deep here. All right. Let's call a fish with my bare hands. Caught my first salamander. Look at this little guy. Cool looking. Now I've caught a frog. Salamanders, fish, and frogs. Got you a lot more on my hands than I was on my pole. It's kind of sad. There you go. There you go, little buddy. What was that? Time to do this night hike back. So I'm calling to some owls right now and they're actually calling back. There we go. Uh -huh. That's so cool. So when I checked the weather last night, there was a 10% chance it was gonna rain. I didn't even bother putting off uh, the rain fly on my tent. I woke up to it pouring. And it got pretty wet in here and I had to run out there in the middle of the night and quickly throw it on so it saves it from getting any more wet here. I'm freezing and now everything's soaked. It's 
going to be a fun night. Everything is soaking wet. My air mattress, the pillow, sleeping bag. So this is Trout Pond. This is the one I didn't go to yesterday. This is the one I just walked right by. I don't know if I'm gonna fish it, but I just decided to come check it out. <laughs> All right, so I found this little spot right here and just getting set up, I've seen two pretty good sized brook trout. I think they were brook trout swim by. So I got on this grasshopper. Well, let's see if we can get one. So today is what, Wednesday, October 10th. And right now there is a hurricane hitting Florida and it's moving north and it's pushing a lot of a lot of rain up my way. So apparently tonight at like 11 o'clock until tomorrow afternoon sometime, it's supposed to be like really bad thunderstorms here. I don't really want to try and pack up the tent in a thunderstorm. I had to put up the rain fly last night in the rain and that sucked enough. <sighs> I'm just kind of seeing what I think the best case scenario will be. Whether that be leave tonight and get a hotel somewhere along the line to my next stop in Cherokee National Forest down in Tennessee or I could just pack up the tent, pack up the tent tonight and then sleep in the truck and then just leave. But that, I don't know, that just doesn't sound good to me either. Honestly, I think the best thing to do in this situation would be to pack up tonight and just kind of head out and find a hotel somewhere along the way to my next stop. Yeah. Larry, my mom just texted me right now. If you want to pack up after fishing ahead, I can get you a hotel. Love you, mom. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pack up the tent. That's good. So I got about an hour drive to get this hotel that I got. Oh. All right, as I'm leaving, there's deer. 